Good day to all of us. I am John Gerby Tonido, a BSIT student from EBSU Tacloban. We have been asked by our instructor to make a student record management system using Python programming language. But before we start, let me give you a little knowledge about Python and the student record management system. So what is a student record management system? A student record management system, also known as a student information system, helps a school manage data, communications, and scheduling. A school system generates, uses a large amount of data. This data must be communicated appropriately to students, faculty, and parents. Now, what is Python? Python is an interpreted, object-oriented, high-level high level programming language with dynamic semantics. Python is simple, easy to learn syntax, emphasizes readability, and therefore reduces the cost of program maintenance. Python supports modules and packages, which encourages program mo modularity and code reuse. Now, who invented the Python programming? Guido Van Rossum is one of the world's most influential programmers. Van Rossum is the author of the General Purpose Programming Language, Python, which he started working on in 1989 and is now among the most popular languages in use. To start with our program, we have our import JSON. This will this will let us make use of the contents or entities available in the JSON module. Every code we have is imported from the JSON module itself. So, we have here our system title, which is the Student Record Management System. It is also asking us to select an option for us on what to do. So, we started with our main menu. We have here that for defining the function and main as the function name. The options are letter A to add new student in the record, E to update, to update or edit a student in record, D to delete a student in record, B to view the student record, W to know the developer, and X for exiting the system. If the user chooses the A option, here is what will come out. The add function will be the one responsible in adding the students and record. These are in inputted by the user. Def add. Here, the adding of the students will be processed. In here, the user will input the full name of the student to be added in the record. The data will be handled by the variable name. The database will be opened in read mode alias as lib and it will be then loaded handled by the variable name file there is this condition that if the name of the student is in file it means that is already in the record a response will then say the entered data is already in the record and the system will go back to the main menu closing the database using the dot close function but if the entered name is not yet on the record the grade will be next to be entered here we use the try and accept more like if and else while true grade will be inputted as float and will be handled by the grade variable then break the loop but if the input is wrong the system will print invalid input. Please enter a numerical grade. Then loop will still continue and will all and will only broken if the input is already in numerical grade. If it is, the database will be open again as read mode, then close. Then open in write mode so that we so that the entered data that will be written in the record and then successfully added name in the student's record will be printed on the screen. The database will be closed again for it is a must vary every time it is open so that any changes any changes made will be saved then go back to the menu. 
if the user chooses the E option, this is what will come out. The edit function will be the one responsible in editing the student's information in the record. That edit. In here, this will open the database in read mode. Read mode, alias as A. Loaded in the variable data. If the length of the data is less than 1, it means that the record is empty and it will prompt a notification saying, The student's record is empty. Please add. Then close. If the database is not empty, open the database and remove. Then the system will ask the user to enter the full name of the student to be edited that will be handled with the check name variable. If the entered name is in the database, the system will ask the user to enter a new name. As for the new grade, try and accept is used again inside the while loop that is same in the add function. The user will be asked for an input. If the input is correct, it will be then ex accepted and the loop breaks or else it will continue. And then, close the database. This opens the database in read mode. To begin the process of editing, the new name will replace the check name. Thus, the new name is equal to the new grade and then close database for saving. Next is to open the database database again, but this time it is in write mode using the json.dump function. The new data will be written in the database and closed again for everything to be saved. The system will notify the user that the data was updated successfully, then go back to the main menu by calling the main function. Meanwhile, if the entered name to be edited is not then record, the system will tell the user that the name doesn't exist in the record. If the user chooses the D option, this is what will come out. The delete function is the one responsible in deletion of the student's information in the record. Def delete. In here, the database is open in read mode as D. Loaded in the variable con. If Lengon is less than 1, the database closes, then print student record is empty. Please add on the screen. On the other hand, if the entered name to be deleted happens to be on the record, open database in read mode. Ask the user to enter the name to delete as handled by the name variable. Then the system will ask the user if deleting information be continued with Y for yes and N for no as options while inside the loop. If Y or yes, the name will be removed then database is closed. Opens again the database in write mode and writes the data on the database with the entered name already deleted in the record and notifies the user that it has been deleted successfully. It then goes back to the main menu and breaks the loop. If the user choose N or No, cancelled will be printed on the screen. We'll go back to the main menu and breaks the loops. Otherwise, invalid input try again will be prompted on the screen. Meanwhile, if the entered name doesn't exist, then the system will just inform the user that it doesn't exist then goes back to the main menu. If the user chooses the V option, this is what will come out. The view function is the one responsible in viewing the student's information in the record. In here, the database is opened in read mode only since you will just view the record. Open as V and loaded in the variable view. If then view is less than 1, it means that the student record is empty and, there, and therefore print the student record is empty please add on the screen. Meanwhile, if there are any, it will be viewed by user in a tabular form. The table has two columns consisting the names of the students together with their corresponding grades. The data or the students' information and the record are already are alphabetical order because of the sorted function. They are aligned using dot, l, just, and integers are then converted to string. 
if for loop is also used in the syntax. The database is then closed just to ensure that everything was saved then go back to the main menu. And if the user chooses the option W and X, this is what will come out. The grade was defined right after the edit function for the last two functions. We have who and EXT function. The, the who function displays the developer's name while the EXT displays a message first then use exit function to exit the system. And the last is we have the part of the syntax where the defined functions are called. Displays the menu first and then while true, system will ask the user to enter an option. If the user select A, add function will execute. Same with other functions, E for edit, D for delete, V for view, W for the displaying of the developer's name and X for exit. All of these are called and are going to execute it. Meanwhile, if the entered option is wrong, a message will be displayed saying invalid input, try it again. And the loop continues again until it's right. JSON.dump. The dump method is used when the Python objects have to be have to be stored in a file. With simplifies the management of common resources like file streams. That close. Python file method close closes the open file. That L just left justified. Plus and equals an operator that adds 
uh, number to a variable, changing itself in the process. As to make an alias of the open file depth, significant keyword in defining a function, exit, terminates the program, sorted, sorts the data in the file. That's all guys, I hope you learned something from me. Thank you.